This is a real quick workflow and troubleshooting project. A student was having a couple of issues with um, the typeface and font family uh, project having trouble selecting and copying and, and arranging content. And so I'm just gonna troubleshoot this really quickly on the fly. Um, so as far as I can, I can figure, I think the, the main issue here is that the students um, uh, unable to maybe select or, or manage some of the content. The goal is to to build these um, little portraits out of fonts only and then combine them into uh, the family portrait area. And I think what's going on here is um, just some content scattered across layers and being a little cumbersome. And so in order to troubleshoot this, uh, I have the selection tool selected, the black arrow tool, and I'm looking at the layers panel. And I'm going to use this uh, technique of just kind of turning off and on a layer to see what disappears, just to get a sense of what content is included on each layer. And so um, there's a picture frame layer, and it looks like there's some content that's included in the picture frame. So I'm going to have to go through and, and, and select some of this stuff. Um, there's also an active layer, uh, which contains some things. So having content scattered across multiple layers um, is okay, um, but depending on if you want to group content together, it could be um, a little more cumbersome. So uh, I'm going to get started first by unlocking the active layer. Um, and again, I'm just kind of flick it on and off, but, but I unlocked it and now it's visible because I want to place everything um, that doesn't belong on the picture layer onto the active layer. And so the things that I want in the picture layer are going to be just these simple picture frames. And then um, we can lock it again once we're done. Um, so I'm going to unlock the picture frame, uh, and I could go through, I, I, I want to be sure uh, that I'm not selecting content on this active layer, okay? And I'll be able to tell, like if I, if I do a command A or select all, um, a lot of stuff is selected. Some of it's highlighted in blue and some of it's highlighted in red, and that's an indicator of which, which layer it's on. Um, but I'm really only concerned right now about isolating the picture frame content to pull the stuff off of it that doesn't belong there. So I'm temporarily going to lock the active layer just for a moment. I'll deselect to make sure nothing is selected. And now I'm going to go to the picture layer. Um, I'm going to select that picture layer, even though that step was a little unnecessary to select the layer because it's the only layer that's unlocked. I'm going to command A or control A or select all. Uh, and that'll select everything uh, that's on the um, picture frame layer. Alternatively, what I could do is if I have the picture frame layer selected, there's a little triangle in the right corner there. If I click on that, that'll select everything on that layer. Okay, um, so I, I could have unlocked the active layer and just used that little trick to make sure it's isolated, but um, you know, whatever is easiest here. So I do want to unlock the active layer because that's going to be my target layer where I, I place all of the things that are not the picture frame. So I want to go through uh, and deselect stuff that I don't want to move. Um, so I just want the, um, the portraits left selected. And so the easiest thing to do, and this might require, you know, a, a few attempts at this, but I'm going to hold down the shift key and just click on the frames. And I can, I can see that something got deselected and I'll shift click and, and I've deselected another one. And I'm just going through and making sure all the picture frames are deselected. So I'm looking for these little control points in the corner, these little bullets to disappear as I select it. I'm just kind of looking around to see if anything else is selected. I, I think, yeah, I'm rolling my mouse over the typefaces and, 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 uh, family assignment, I can see that that's red, it's highlighting in red, so chances are that is on uh, the active layer. So I think I have just the portrait selected. So I could do um, a couple of different things. I want to get this content that I have selected onto the active layer. I could choose to edit, cut, move to the target layer, and choose to edit, paste in place. Okay, so now I've pasted that content directly into the layer uh, that I had selected. So now if I show and hide that layer, you can see that all the portraits are disappearing. I'm going to Command Z or Edit Undo uh, until I get this content back onto the picture frame layer. Okay, so I'm right back to the point where um, I have only the portraits selected on the picture frame layer. 
Another way to do this is once I have this content selected, I can simply move whatever I have selected to a target layer by identifying uh, the, the content in the layer. And there's this little bullet here. It says indicate selected art. So there's this, on this blue frame indicator, this blue layer, there's a little box over here. Um, that means I have stuff selected on this layer. And if I just click and drag, left click and drag, and drag that up to another layer, it'll move all the content that's selected onto that layer. So now I have all of my um, portraits isolated to a layer. So I can lock the picture frame layer. And I'll just double check by flipping the visibility on and off. Okay. I'll keep it locked. And so now, really the only thing that is on this layer are the portraits and the title. Um, I probably don't want to transfer the titles uh, with me, so, but, you know, again, I'll kind of experiment. So now probably the best technique to select this stuff is with the black arrow tool, because everything else is locked and the, except for the layer with the portrait, I'll just click and drag and select everything but the title. You can see that I feel pretty confident that I have all of that stuff selected. And now I could do Command-G or Control-G if you're on a PC, or I can go to Object, Group, Command-G. Okay, so now when I deselect and I click on the object group, it moves as a group. Okay, now I want to copy and paste that. So I could choose Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste, and I get a copy of it. I'll just move it over here. Okay, if I want to scale this down, I'll hold down the Shift key, grab it from the corner, and just click and drag, and I'll release my mouse before I let go of the shift key. I'll do the same thing over here. So I'll select the portrait. I'm gonna deselect the title I overselected, so I'm gonna just simply hold down the shift key and click on, what I think it's veranda. I'm having a hard time not selecting that, so I'm just gonna start my selection over. And I'll just back off of it a little bit. I'm pretty sure that's uh, what I need. I'll command G to group. And rather than copying and pasting, I'll try another technique. I'll hold down the Option key on a Mac, or I believe it's the Alt key on a PC. So I'll hold down Option drag, and when I release the mouse, if I release the mouse button before the Option key or the Alt key on a PC, I'll get a duplicate, and I'll do that same thing. I'll hold down Shift and grab it from the corner and scale it down. Okay, so I'm just selecting, and so the key here, if you're having issues grouping this content, um, it could have been content that was on locked layers or across multiple layers. Um, so I'm, I really just went through and selected this content, combined it. Um, we can copy this stuff before we group it. So I can just option click and drag or copy and paste. Uh, but if uh, it's a little bit easier to group it when it's isolated in its own frame, because in the event that I drag and drop and kind of mix these up, now I got a bunch of you know things that I need to manage. So um, Command Z to undo, make sure I have all that selected. Command G to group and I'll shift click and move it around. So once I'm done, um, I'll make sure that I save uh, my progress and I'll choose file and I'll either export and then choose an appropriate file type. So if I export, I have access to PNG and JPEG, which are always good solutions. Uh, but in Illustrator, if I wanna generate a PDF, I'll just do a file save as and I'll find the PDF option here. Okay, so I um, hope that helps. If uh, there's something else that I'm missing in terms of uh, the question that was submitted, if I didn't address it, just shoot me an email and I'll uh, pick up where we left off.